Coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, I'm going to do a quick, easy, and affordable curb appeal update to my front porch, so stay tuned. <music> Design to the nines.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. On my last episode, I showed you how to repaint your front door to make it look great. And today I've got a couple more projects to boost the curb appeal of my front porch. And so you're going to want to stay tuned to the very end because we are going to have a lot of fun and make it look great. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have a transom window over my door. It's fun. It brings in a lot of light on the other side. It adds another decorative element to my porch area. However, it's just that. It's just a window. And I think we can bring it up a notch by adding my house numbers. So what I decided to do, as you can see, I've created a template here that has my numbers um, spaced out correctly where I want it. It's centered and it's on the opposite side of the glass. So it's just showing through. And then I picked up these um, numbers, house numbers from Lowe's and they were the right size. And I thought that they would work out just fine. They stick to the window but I just cut them out because this is a whole sticker obviously and we will just stick them over the template and we'll go to there and then I'll show you another element that I'm going to add. All right so that's looking pretty good. Another element that I thought would add a lot of interest and dimension is to create a border around my house number by um, placing some washi tape around and I placed some strategic marks here to help me keep it one half inch away so there will be frosted glass here, no frosted glass and then frosted again. And so we'll apply this now. Okay, so now all we need to do is I'll square off the corners with a razor blade but we'll remove these little guide marks so that that will be sprayed. I'll tape around the edges and protect it with some newspapers and we'll get spraying. All right, so we are prepped, ready, and all we need to do is frost the glass. So while my frosted glass is drying, I'm gonna pot up some topiaries that I picked up at Walmart. These were around $30 a piece and they are going to add such a cute element to our front porch. So I wanted to put a vinyl sign on my door. This one says welcome. The contrast against the black door will look nice and then everybody hopefully will feel like you are welcome in my home. So now what I've done is I found center, matched that up. I've also leveled it off and made sure that it was level and now we are going to apply it by just taking some kind of flat card and rubbing it on like so okay so now the moment of truth did we do a good job on this frosting job i'm gonna i've got a razor blade here i'm going to start by pulling up a corner. Actually, I'm going to climb up here. And we'll start here very carefully. And now I'm going to break this so we can pull it one at a time. All right. It's looking good. Very carefully turning the corner. You want to make sure you don't stick it onto the frosting. So awesome. So I'm going to just finish up here and then I will put my porch together and we'll do the full reveal.
So our curb appeal boost project is done. I couldn't be happier. I'm thrilled with how everything turned out and I just think this front porch is so adorable now. So we've got the frosted address transom window. That didn't take very much time or money. It was super inexpensive, less than $10. Then I added a wreath of magnolia leaves that I just picked up some several picks off of the Christmas clearance. So that whole thing was less than $10 total. And then we've got the vinyl lettering, the welcome. That was a quick and easy project as well. Less than $10, all on a freshly painted door. So that looks great. I'm super happy with how that turned out. And then of course, our topiary trees that I picked up from Walmart, as well as the urns, which were inexpensive that I got from Lowe's. Honestly, not a ton of money spent here. Uh, maybe a total of one afternoon boosting the curb appeal one afternoon painting the door, so a total of days project at most. You can do this too, and for more great tutorials, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on the notifications, and check out my website, designtothenines.com, for more great ideas, and then make sure you follow me on all the social media websites, and then check back soon. I've got lots of great projects coming for you soon. Stay tuned for those. Thanks so much for watching.